While we wait, I'm going to show you something else that's pretty cool. We take a magnet where the front of the magnet is north and the back of the magnet is south. North has an X, south does not have an X. If we put the magnets together north, 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 they repel each other. They do not go together. They create a force um, between the magnetic flux lines and they do not go together. If we put the magnets together north, south, north, and we alternate them, they want to stick together quite nicely. If we take, the, take magnets north, 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 and we continue that sequence and we wrap them around a ring, much like this for example, to where all of the norths are in and all of the souths are out, that creates a vortex of magnetic flux lines going in to where the magnetic flux lines all come in, create pressure within themselves, self-rotating and then coming out back into the south of the magnet. This is the top view and then the side view is this where the magnets go around and then the vortex like this comes out and it goes back in. So this is essentially a vortexing magnetic field. So now what's the significance of that? If we take a vortexing magnetic field and we stick it on top of a static magnetic field, what do you think will happen? It'll create spin, it'll create motion without, without actually touching each other. The, the vortexing magnetic field will create spin uh, within this magnet. And I'll show you that right now. All this is is a steel ball bearing. This is a speaker magnet. And these are also little speaker magnets. All of the magnetic fields are facing inward and that creates a, a vortexing magnetic field to where if we put it over this, this could be scaled up uh, precision engineered with high powered magnets to create a perpetual motion machine whereas this is just a cardboard tube with the speaker magnets that I got at the store uh, taped in rubber band. But still, it proves the concept that motion exists naturally in the universe. I'm going to do it one more time. Then we're going to get back to the plasma. So that's the nature of the universe to spin. If you think about why a galaxy rotates or why the earth rotates or why the solar system rotates or why an atom rotates, that's the fundamental question um, that will explain what's going on in this plasma reactor here.